zibhala maduzane nje sinothisha abanethulela izifundo zika grade 12 zonke izinsuku kusukela ngomsombuluko kuze kube yisonto zithokozelene lezifundo nisithumelele imbuzo lapho ndinga khona usizo ngibingelela bonke abalaleli emakhaya kanye nabafundi okhulumayo umis mazibuko ofundisa i business studies namhlanje ngizolekelela abafundi in one of the topics esithola ku paper 2 under business roles and that is human rights inclusivity and environmental issues learners need to understand that in business studies we have four main topics that is business environments business ventures business roles and business operations abafundi abakhumbula ukuthi under these are four main topics kuna ma subtopics angena futhi ngaphansi kwawo for paper 1 umfundi akazi ukuthi uzobheka ku business environment and business operations for paper 2 we've got business ventures and business roles so it's very important ukuthi umfundi akwazi ukuclassify ama paper wakhe ukuthi ku paper 1 sithola mapha ama topics ku paper 2 imap futhi ama topics eswathola khona before we start with our lesson izothanda ukuthi si explain ama concepts lanka ama thathu eswathola ku topic yethu the first concept it's human rights human rights are rights that everyone must enjoy by mere fact that they are human beings ama human rights are um, all the, the learners that are familiar with uh, these human rights and ama human rights swatola ku chapter 2 of the constitution okumele umfunda kwazi ukuthi ama human rights they are universal meaning they apply to every citizen eh thina is abafundi be business studies asizo kufokasa kuwo wonke ama human rights which are stipulated in chapter 2 of the constitution but sizobheka la ama human rights a apply akuphi in the workplace and la ama human rights sithini sithu employer must ensure that uh, he or she complies with them the second concept it's inclusivity the term inclusivity is taken from the word include meaning uh, no one should be excluded because of their gender age race language or disability okusukuthi in this case sithini sithi akekho u employee akekho umsebenzi okufuneka azizwe engamkelekile in the workplace because of his or her gender age race language or disability Sitike futhi businesses uh, can achieve inclusivity ngokwenza njani ngokuthi ba promote equality respect and dignity in the workplace The last concept in our topic environmental issues Environmental issues relate to preserving a clean or a safe and sustainable environment the word preserve when you preserve kusho ukuthini lapho ugcina into esesimeni sayo in other words sithini lapha yana sithi businesses need to ensure that they do not cause any harm to the environment during their production process aphele lapho ke ama concept wethu ama thathu eswathathela from a topic yethu right now uh, we have to consult our examination guideline before scala with our topic our examination guideline will assist us in, in, in identifying the content that must be taught or that will be assessed in this topic the first bullet in our examination guideline it says outline or name the following human rights in the workplace umfundi nje by just uh, consulting uh, his or her examination guideline she is now familiar with the term outline or name okunye umfundi akufuneka kwazi masikhuluma nje ngale ya action verb ethi outline or name 
Usuyazi nje lapho ukuthi that that is a low order question and usually it is out of a uh, one mark you get one mark for for each point and so I refer to it as a uh, low hanging fruit ama ama questions of that nature so umfundi akaqikelela ukuthi my it's question outline or name you do not have to put so much effort because o one mark lapayan so nje you just name and then you move on ngaphandle kokumosha isikhathi ngishiloke emasa ekufena ama concept wethu ukuthi thina asizukwabheka wonke ama human rights akhona but sizobheka ama human rights lanka a apply in the workplace and must check a foot examination guideline yethu ama rights akumele akumele swenze there are only six there are only six the first human rights uh, in the workplace it's privacy the second one it's respect for dignity we've got equity freedom of speech and expression we have right to information right to safety security and a protection of life so now that umfundi say akwazi ku outline lama right to sex umfundi you must also be able to identify the above mentioned rights from given scenarios ungagcini ngokwazi ukwa lista ukwa outline ama rights wakho grade 12 lena you must also be able to identify these rights from given scenarios siyazi ukuthi in some questions more especially in section b as well as c unikeziwe lapha yana ini isinario uyafunda ke mfundi lapha yana isinario and then usuyayisho i rights applicable oyibonayo lapha yana in that particular sentence from the scenario and then umfundi akakwazi futhi ukurecommend you must also be you must also be able to recommend ways in which businesses could deal with the above stated human rights uma says recommend lapha yana says njani says isho indlela that ama ama business angakwazi ukuaddressa ngayo ini lama human rights lanka in the workplace ukuthi so addressa kanjani a a a chazela ukuthini what what do uh they implies kuluma ke implication manje of human rights in the workplace siwa apply kanjani manje lama human rights in the workplace there is a bullet number 3 according to our, to our examination guideline so kuluma ngani ke manje nge implication of human rights in the workplace okay implication ka right number 1 rights to privacy when we talk of a right to privacy city nike manje city ama business they should not violate the rights of employees and clients secondly businesses should not provide personal information about employees to anyone in this case uh singasho kutike Say for instance, u employee u hambile wa disclose a HIV status sa kegubani gu 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 employer. U employee may se kwa nzile loko. U employer agaguaz u disclose such information to anyone. I information e e fanana leo must be kept confidential. Au kwa zuk disclose a personal information of employees in the workplace. Ma usu wenze njalo usu ya hamba gewena as an employer u disclose information e personal yama employees uzobe usu wenze njalo manje you are now violating a right to privacy kabani ka employee. The second human rights in the workplace we've got respect or dignity. Under respect or dignity sitini we say our businesses must treat all employees with respect or dignity regardless of their socioeconomic status. Secondly, they should not force workers to do embarrassing or degrading work. In this case, kulumang oktinige manj, ama business, they should treat all their employees with respect. Gubaleki ilika kuloko. Uh, we've got rights uh, to to equity. 
Under right to equity, sitting manje, businesses must give equal opportunities not discriminate against their employees on the basis of gender, of race, of religion, or sexual, sexual uh, orientation. A right to equity, so in the workplace, we must be entitled to what? To, to, to equal opportunities we are all entitled to, to equal opportunities kufuneke sonke sinikezwe ama opportunity anjani alinganayo and businesses awakwazi ukwenza njani ukudiscriminate on basis of age of race of gender or sexual orientation another point under equity sikhuluma ngokuthini ke there should be equal pay for work of what of equal value Ogusuguti in the workplace masenza umsebenzi onjani olinganayo noma ofanayo as hole lepila futi imali enjani elinganayo right number four it's right uh, to freedom of speech and expression under right to freedom of speech and expression we say businesses should not um I mean, businesses should allow open communication channels between management and employees. In this case, city Nick, city in management, it must be easily accessible. As was communicator with management, Tina, Singabobani, Singama employees. If you employee and I have a grievance or I have a concern, I must be able to raise uh, such issues without any victimization in the workplace. I must be able to express myself in the workplace. I must be able to, to voice my opinion or any idea as an employee. And la kulmangani get right to freedom of speech and expression it writes and human rights uh, it's a right to information masters kulu mango right to information city nige city ama employees <clears throat> should be informed as any new information becomes available if uh go go nama changes I'm making an, an example. When I'm a changes, la payana go go my labor laws. Eh, go ngaba footy. I'm a I'm a changes. Go pick go my work schedule. Ngaba I'm a additions to I'm a policies. If there is such information, me na as an employee, I deserve to be what to be informed of such information. So go by lulegi lege. Go ti I'm a business for now. Our guys go into journey who communicate young information enja to abasebenzi bakon and then uh businesses need to be transparent in their financial statements so i deserve a photo quasi about the performance yani your company team i'm is my investors or i'm stakeholders so I'm a business gubalekile for two goods. I want to transparent in their financial statements. About um a performance, yani ye company. So uh agmelang la payana ba 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 feel information regarding I'm a financial statement. So nje uh squaz uwenzu jani u u uhola spawn uguti kampani i perform akanjan. The last uh, human rights, we've got rights uh, to safety, security, and protection of life. Under right to safety, security, and protection of life, Zesi Tinike. Sipega uguti la payana. Ama business awa kgelele uguti abasebenzi. Basebenza enda weni enjani. Epepili. In cases where abasebenzi, basebenza nge mshini, et et dangerous. Our employer must ensure that it provides a protective clothing to to those employees. 
I'm gonna provide the pillow, my safety gloves. I'm gonna provide the with um I'm a footwears, I'm a boots, la payana, or makarapa in order to ensure its safety gabani yama employees. Oh go on your forty and any point is not kuluma woods um businesses need to comply uh with safety legislations such as uh koida ukoida siam tola gugu paper one under legislations says ugut la payana if um ama businesses uh comply with koida ogu shuguti ama employees way to they will receive a compensation in cases where they incur uh, ama injuries on duty we say agwazu ugutu u employee ends in jani ako so it's very important ugutu um businesses uh, need to comply with koida moving right along again so so we like a footman jogu examination guideline see your checker a point and land a lie <clears throat> so far we have touched on the the human rights we are now able to outline the human rights in the workplace we have identified um the above stated human rights from given scenarios uh, learners must also be able to recommend ways in which businesses could deal with the above stated human rights. It's common with much implication with I'm a business as our addresser and I'm a human rights. Now we have to move on to economic rights of employees in the workplace. Master school magama economic rights um fundi agawazo when the jani uwa outline ama human ama economic rights in the workplace. Uh, economic rights, uh, number one, we say equal pay for work of equal value. Ogo shogotse, masenzo msebenzo fanayo, o linganayo, as hole refut ne malenjani, e linganayo. Employees have a right to join or form trade unions. Siawazi, ama trade, ama trade unions. Maningi, we've got Yosatu, Nehau, and Natu, and so on. Umfundi aga understand la uguti. Employees are now in ama rights or good buzz join, but buzz formally in a trade union. Yeah, but no, my buzz join a trade union of their choice. A funege goes a good employer or poker employee who would aga join a yip a trade union. A a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Ama employees futa na lo ilunge lo loguti abahambe pe la bayo bayi nguenye yani yama strikes lang eswa bizo nguti they are legal, ama legal strike. They have right to safe and healthy working conditions. They have, they've got a right to reasonable uh, limitation of what? Of working hours. Uh, ama working hours that stipulated under a basic condition of Employment Act, a similar good legislations, good paper one. A ama employees awards good. They've got a right to reasonable limitation of what of working hours. I understand good. If the sevens are the sevens are any overtime, about kokele i i i i over i overtime. And then abaz futa ba sevens good. La pa na kupi C A S L. Tola futi point el kuma good. Workers um. May not work for more than 45 hours in any week. So, our sevens abas would foot by now, a right to reasonable limitation of what? Of working hours. Moving right along to social rights and economic rights. Under social rights and economic rights, learners must understand ways in which businesses could promote these rights in the workplace. So, school man go manje go social rights and nobani no cultural rights um si 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 promote a kanjani ketina is businesses u social rights nobani no cultural rights it's like taller food to that point in our examination guideline it says that um states the social rights of employees in the workplace Ogushuguti aswazi ama social rights in the workplace. Sepende food sense and journey, we must be able to recommend ways in which businesses could promote social rights and cultural rights in the workplace. As chicken nigga oguti, how can businesses promote social rights in the workplace? This question um it be pumile ngo November 
2018. Yes, and Ibitini suggest ways in which businesses could promote social rights in the workplace. For eight marks. Mfondige usayas la payana uguti begmele as palele any four points. Uguti how could businesses promote social rights in the workplace. Apinde futu mfondi akikelele uguti. She or he answers in full so that as otola u eight marks wake or pele. Okay. Uh, ways in which businesses could promote social rights in the workplace. Point number one businesses should ensure that employees have access to clean water or social security. The second point. Encourage employees or provide opportunities uh, for skills training or basic education. I'm a business foot our improve in our skills of our employees. So kumbu lege la pay nugus maskulumango social rights. Ama social rights are all about improving the standard of living of our employees. So it's very important for businesses to improve the skills of their employees. By simply improving the skills of their employees, aguzuk benefita ama employees kupel. But not as a business, ya benefita by sending our employees for, for training. Tina as a business, si benefita kanja nik. Ogo kalanje, we will gain a competitive advantage over our competitors. Which is training in our employees' way too. Our employees' way, must as well train in. Benzo jani, bazo ba competent, ba kuaz ukwenza umse benzi ngendlela. So si a benefit agenati as a business. In in, in at the same time, spend the same jani si a promoter in the social rights in the workplace. We also must uh, register workers with in the UIF. Si boni leke leye yuwa FN zeka. Jutu i COVID-19. Begu nani begu ne lockdown. No social activities took place during ini i lockdown. So, a abantu si boni lebe penifita ke njenga manje la payana kubetola ini. EYF. Sayaz EYF, which it stands for Unemployment Insurance Fund. Abantu bebe richenchi we msebenze ni kushukutu employer manjaka sa kwa zuk bako kele la abantu kwa melu kutu enzi jani abatilizi. The time abatilizi za umutu sumpele lu msebenze usea kwa zuk uti ke manje menga sa sebenze akleme la payana ku UYF. So it's very important with food ama employers awa register ini ama workers with UYF. The businesses must also encourage employees to participate in what? In special events. I'm a special events. It's not a school man. It's not a world aid day. So, I'm a employee. I'm a business. I'm a promoter. I'm a social rights in the workplace. So, I'm a social rights in the workplace. I'm a poor man. Section B. Ngapinde futu suwa tole gubani ugu section, um, I mean, ngapuma ku section P, nama apume ku section C. Epepe nje lelbe lpale, trial examination, go 2020, go question 6, ipumile la payana, e question, e respulet number 3, ibiti ni advise businesses on how to promote cultural rights in the workplace. Okbale kile nje mfonde uguti upale, ini ama sentence zwako, uapilele, uapale in full so that uzo tola imag lako eli njani eli peleli. Now we are going to move on to ways in which businesses could promote cultural rights in the workplace. Jonga ba seng shilo njo uguti this question si tolile gu question 6 e pepe ni trial examination e ros bullet number 3 gu isei. And then now masi si diskasa ke la payan uguti atresa ganja no masi promosa ganja in cultural rights in the workplace. We can encourage our employees to participate in cultural activities. Encourage our employees to participate in cultural activities. As a business, in that way, we are seeing 
cultural rights. As in just so we September on the 24th of September, we uh, Heritage Day. La po uh, uh, employer and uh, encourage our employees work with bakoge in their traditional attires. We want to challenge who say say promote any ama cultural rights in the workplace. A uh, bullet number two. Employ people from various cultural backgrounds. Special footer banda bakamuga from various cultural background. We want to challenge employees who promote any. E cultural rights employees should be trained on what on cultural tolerance we also encourage employees to use their own language when interacting uh, with one another during spare time ama employees way to see our kukuzela see our vumela futu wuti our communicator pela in their own languages ngaba i lunch ngaba i lunch time um but encourage you to uh, uh, communicate or interact in their own languages by so doing as a business we will be we will be promoting um cultural cultural rights in the workplace okay um master square we examination guideline says your with regards to human rights in the workplace. Ogo kalanje si pege ini ama human rights in the workplace. Sasho kutumfund ama human rights hagwa zugwa neima apinda gwa zugwa identifier from given scenarios. Umfundi must be able to do what uh, to to recommend ways in which businesses could deal with human rights in the workplace. You must also be able to state economic rights, social rights, non forty, cultural cultural rights. When we talk of cultural and social rights, um, sitin la posis umfundi agakwaz ug recommenda. Uh, in Lela that businesses could promote social as well as cultural rights. Before we move on to diversity, let us look at the implication of equality, respect and dignity for businesses. Point number one, businesses should treat all their employees equally regardless of their race, color, age, gender or disability. Sitini gela payana skuluma ngani nge equal treatment of employees. Uguti song we must be treated fairly in the workplace regardless of race, of age, of gender, and so on. And then um, all workers should have equal access uh, to opportunities, positions, or resources. Ugutu uguti if kuna ma promotions at business ni song ke askwazi ugwenzi jani who apply for that particular position as long as that particular individual poses the, the necessary skills and ability to do the job and then businesses should also respond swiftly to incidents of what of discrimination or unfair treatment also what if one employee or on a particular guy or or this way discriminated ngaba on basis of j of age of race of gender of skin color U employer kufunege atgele luguti u uyawa attend such incidents ngo kulu ukshesh. Okay, um, now we have to move on to diversity. Ye nige umfund okfunege ayazi and that diversity. Go for, go pela. Esok pega la payana. Go go diversity. O umfundi. Waka create 12, aga gwa azpela u elaborator on the meaning of diversity. Gisa kulo manjo about that first bullet. Esil tola futku examination guideline. I question ipumile ngo September trial examination 2020. First bullet elaborate on the meaning of diversity in the business. So as a grade 12 learner, you must be able to define what diversity is. You must um, be in a position of um, being able to explain the meaning of what of diversity. Umfund aragua the futu wenzanjani uugneima ama diversity issues. 
la phena masinima ama diversity issues uh epepen la go june 2018 ibiphumile question efuna abafundi ukuthi abenze njani abawa outline ama diversity issues sikhulumile leyo outline ukuthi umfundi akenze sho ukuthi nje mausa name uyalitholela lo mark injengoba lili njalo so uh, we would regard to the second bullet from our examination guideline e question ingasho ukuthi wa outline e question futhi ingakhiphela ini i scenario and then from this scenario you must be able to identify these diversity issues from the given scenario bullet number 3 recommend ways in which businesses could deal with the above stated diversity issue the last bullet it says discuss the benefits of diversity in the workplace so masses cool man jungo diversity the meaning of uh, diversity um we say it refers to the variety of people employed based on age race gender disability uh, personality and so on so njonga manje uma sesikhuluma nge diversity we talk about a variety okusho ukuthi nje i keyword ma lapha yana ku diversity it has to be variety ukuthi sikhuluma ngezinto ezinjani ezahlukahlukene so in this case masisibuyisa in the workplace i i diversity sithi sithi businesses must employ a uh, a variety of people okusho ukuthi uzoqasha abantu abanjani abahlukahlukene on the basis of age of race of disability uh, personality nakho sibe ukuthi nje abantu esibaqasha bahluke bangahlukiswa yini ukuthi siqasha abantu abaneminyaka enjani eyahlukahlukene siqasha different genders we also cater for those people who are disabled uh, people with uh, different uh, personalities and so on so nje i keyword yakho mfundi with regards to diversity sikhuluma ngani nge variety siqasha abantu abanjani abahlukahlukene businesses must employ people from different cultural backgrounds we wenze njalo nje sesithi we are a diversified workforce because a business so also ukuthi iqasha abantu abaqhamuka from different cultural backgrounds okay Aspect number two, we've got uh, diversity issues in the workplace. Umfundi must be in the position um, of uh, being able to identify the, the diversity issues from the given scenario. You must also be able to name the diversity issues. Diversity issue number one, it's poverty, inequality, race, gender, language, age disability religion of faith and lastly we've got culture dealing with the diversity issues in the workplace the first diversity issue ubani u poverty city ni masithaza u poverty city it is the state of being poor and not being able to satisfy the basic needs so how can we address city lak anjani ke with poverty in the workplace okokuqala we have to train all employees so that they can be able to deal with retrenchment so uma sesi ba train ileke ama employees wethu sithi ni sithi bazokwazi ukudila nani ne retrenchment badila kanjani with retrenchment sizoba trainer they they acquire the necessary skills okusho ukuthi u employee mayisephelela umsebenzi uzokwazi ukusebenzisa lama skilled i mean lama skills awatholile in the workplace ukwenza njani ukuziqalela ini i business lakhe so in, in, in other words lapha yana if we train our employees okusho ukuthi siphinde futhi si encourage noma si yes si encourage i self employment ukuthi umuntu basesimtrainile mayise retrenchiwe uzokwazi phela ukuziqalela ini business like ukuthi naye akwazi ukuziphilisa uh, we can also reward employees for service well rendered abantu abenze kahle basebenza abasebenze kahle abawenze kahle umsebenzi seba reward we offer subsidized meal ma u employer may subsidize lapha yana 
ama mills wa ma employees oko shoko tu employee ma isa itenga le ya mili izo uzo besa itenga it's a reasonable price because ko shoko tu employer has met u employee halfway wange nelela u employee ma isa itenga that subsidized mill uzo besa itenga at a reasonable price because izo besi subsidize ziwe leo leo mille uh, we supply free uniforms to employees for what? For safety purposes. We can also ensure that the prices for off products are affordable for the identified consumer market. So, society la na yonji issue poverty. Se ensure uguti, se kwele uguti ama product wetu that we are offering in our business. So, at a reasonable price so that most of our people as a mugut is but i said that this particular product by by we afford and then we move on to the next uh or to the second diversity issue so go ban manje so go inequality when we talk of inequality school man uktini unga lingan sense and chani is still a diversity issue Implement equal opportunity policies when appointing new staff. Maskuluma ge equal opportunity policies. Kuluma ngani ni principle that everyone can have uh, access to employment opportunities. Ogushuguti nje sisi ya say avoid nje discrimination la paya nagubani u inequality. We also um, implement an employment equity plan for businesses. Equal opportunities should be considered when promoting staff. All the employees deserve equal opportunities. They deserve equal employment opportunities. Maguna ma positions, ama shamsha beguna ma guna ma promotions in the workplace. Agmele se discriminate on the basis of skin color, of age, of gender. But si promoter wongum u employee onjani. And then uh, another diversity issue, it's race. Masculine race, we need to implement affirmative action policies as required by law. Masculine affirmative action policies, Sekuluma Ngalea policy that was introduced uh, by the government in order to redress the imbalances of the past. So I understand the song kuguti gudala. Uh, there certain jobs for, for females. Kuni msebe nzi yaba nbeslisa. Kwa kuni msebe nzi tiwa la payana loyana nji umutwe sifazani aga guazu kwenza. So affirmative action uzo lungisa wak elawo ma imbalances. Ayenzega gudala. Nji yunga manje it's no longer the case. Inga hako nji guazu kubona ba nbe sifazani. Ba owner ini big companies we am told and you must be a driver ini it track and cool. I'm saying it's like the halakok to a urban based lisa. Jenga man je loka kisa apply. So okay, since Jani, since since we are entitled to to equal employment opportunities as long as una i believe una ama skills or kwenza that particular job, you must be given an opportunity to do so. Under race, as uh, in the school, man, would say, no discrimination should be made should be made based on on skin color. Our circumstances are unsubstantiated. Our only good tool is based on skin color. So, so uh, uh, we must be given unsubstantiated law as long as unjani unama skills or going to be. When, appoint, when appointments are made, previously disadvantaged people should get preferential treatment. ama appointments and businesses. Funeges konsite ka kulu la baban la bayana ababet indezele kile kutala. Skuluma ngani, those people who are physically challenged, asbani keze manja ini, uh, ama employment opportunities as many cases the foods in ama managerial positions about owning nabo in businesses na bantu abanjani aban besifazane black people njenga manje they should be given in a preferential treatment makwenzi wa ini ama employments and then businesses must also comply with employment equity act 
employment equity act is ya mazi singa bafo nbe business studies ukulma ngani nge equal treatment and then uh, sibe no triple pee when appointing people u triple pee e na u a my wenzin jani promoting blacks for managerial positions but developer in the ama skills in order to promote in the ownership skuluma ngan futi awarding tenders na kona futi sa encourage in the ownership so businesses need to comply with those act in order to deal with a diversity issue ego ubani ego race sibe no gender under gender is a diversity issue si dila ganja nike na yo City males and females should be offered equal employment opportunities. Employment opportunities they shouldn't be based on gender. Must promote and abandu no must as we we need to cater for both uh for both um gender. Ngaba ini ama males ngaba ini ngaba ama females se abakasha bonke la baban la bayani. Business directors should promote both men and women in managerial position. Ababe promoted. I'm a female. So we promoted foot nani. Nama males. Gupi. Kuma managerial positions. Singa konti the only males. Ha? But we also cater for women in managerial position. New appointments should be based on skills and abilities. Must appoint abandu. Asi pegi ini asi pegi ublili. But si appointa loyamutu loyana esitini unawo ini ama skills. Unawo fudni ability to perform a particular job. Women should be employed to comply with Employment Equity Act. Sipinde futi skashe in aban besfaza ni njonga besi skulmili njonga ni la point el kulu mangani nge mene njiral position. Njonga manje nje siyabona aban tuwa abesfaza ni. Benza zwa nba they are owning big companies. They are in high mene njiral position. Ama business minds nje alu asuge enze jani. They are complying with employment equity act. Sipinde no language is a diversity issue. Um, masi skuli mango language, si dila ganja ni geti nanu language in the workplace. Si ti ganja na genja nga manje, no worker should feel excluded in the meeting conducted in only one language. Ageko umsebe nzo kufunega azizu, e nga yona ingo nyani ye meeting, because ye meeting is only conducted in one, in one language. Kuna loko i business lingenza njani linga kasha i interpreter. Interpreter izo kugele lukutu wongo muntu who participated or who attended a particular meeting. We understand a gongo okushi wogupi kwe meeting. Provide training in the official language of what? Of the business. Izo zonke indelezo i business elinga isi benzisa. Ugutu stili nani? Ni diversity issue and that was language. We now have to move on to age. When we talk of age, any promotions should not be linked to age, but rather to a specific set of skills. Age, la payan, a squaz wutim, si promote a band based on im yakayabu. Si no babi la mini, here, una 38 years, si benobani, si beno zanele, on im yaki, eu 25. In this case, uh, la wawani wa wabili baya baya aplaya, they are applying for a promotion. Babi la mini nubani, no zanele. Aku shuguti i biznisi funege li asume, uguti no astate nubani, u babi la mini, u babi la mini just because unjani, he is old. But, funege tatwe bani, between u zanele nubabi la mini, akasho umut unjani, the one who poses the necessary skills to perform the particular job. Na lo ena futu onani onawo ini ama abilities wako enza umsebe nzi lo asu azobe enja ni ewa apla yeli. Ama promotions agmele abe based on ini ichenda. But ama business anga sebe nzi sa umyaga to their advantage. To its advantage. Bako enza ganja nige loko 
ama business anga encourage ama senior employees la basi ba tali msa benzini ukutiba krume o ba develope ama employees langa asa kula anjani ama ngan afiga msa benzini ba pinde futa ama business a advise ini aba young employees ukuthi abahloni iphephela eni bafunde kulaba abadali emsebenzini abenza kahle a business uh, may not employ children aged 15 or younger businesses awakwazi ukuthi futhi aqashe izingane ezingakanani ena 15 years o engaphansi kwa 15 ileyo futhi indlela engasetshenziswa ibusiness ukuthi idile nani nale ya diversity issue which is age. The business should encourage employees to be sensitive to different perspective of a various age group. Another diversity issue that we've identified is disability, physically challenged, or people living with disability. Business should provide amenities for people who are physically challenged. Ama business awa kile luguti futi baya baka shana la ba base bens avanjani aba physically challenged. They should also be considered when appointments are made. Baya deserve na bo ini the opportunity to go to base bens. Jonga base shi luguti masakulu malapa ya nangu no raise. Se shi losati businesses need to comply no bani or they need to implement affirmative action sasho go to affirmative action u konela ukuzo correct ama imbalances of the past njenga manje mwase sitindu u disability siyasho uguti nala babandla bayana who are physically challenged they deserve any employment opportunities si tige futi mwase siba kashile as a business Siba accommodate, mwuguti siba nzijani, siba provide ilama facilities. Ngaba ini ama ramps for those, aba guma wheelchairs. Aba wazo konu guti ba aba hande kate, ama wheelchairs wabu siba provide ila ini ama facilities. And then, we also ensure that we train businesses. Businesses must be well informed on how to deal with these people who are physically challenged as as peluti siba pata kanjani stila nabu kanjani kunga kinfutu nguti ama business as uut kanjani mele ba pata kanjani in the workplace we also train ama colleagues uguti siso azo dila kanjani nige manje with these people who are physically challenged employees should be trained on how to deal with colleagues with disabilities. Ogutu ugutu business alazo ugutu litilaka ncha nala baba ndaba. Sipinde futu siyo trainer ini ama employees ugutu sitilaka ncha nsiba pata ncha nala baba ndaba aba physically challenged. We ensure that employees with disabilities are treated fairly. Sipinde futu siyo ba si senze show ugutu ba zizo anabu bewa mkeleki ili in the workplace. They are treated fairly. Businesses should bring in external experts to help disabilities and accommodation what issues. Okay, the last diversity issue, Sinani, Sino, religion and culture. Under religion and culture, Sipika Inige Manj, city businesses must be sensitive to special requests from different cultural groups, e.g. allow days of uh, allow day off for cultural holidays or festivals. Ogusho si se abavumela yemanje ama employees we to guti ba observe ini their religious uh, holiday. Businesses should also acknowledge and respect cultural differences of what of employees and agmele ye futi aba ama business enze jani apho kaba sebe enzu uguti benze umsebe enzu onjani or against i religion yab that's how a business can deal with religion or culture in the workplace okay now we have to look at the last aspect under uh under diversity jungobe shilu uguti ku diversity okba leke ile it's for you as a learner to understand the meaning. You must be able to elaborate the meaning of diversity. You must be able to identify diversity issues in the workplace. 
au nine ama diversity issues okumele uwazi mfundi akabe ku position ukuthi uyakwazi ukwenza njani ukwa outline in case equation ethini outline uh, any diversity issue aphinde futhi umfundi akwazi ukwenza njani ukuy identify from a scenario a diversity issue and then uh aphinde azo umfundi ukuthi sidila kanjani ke with diversity issues in the workplace now we have to look at the benefits of diversity in the workplace. We had such question go 2018 in June. Every discuss the benefits of diversity issues in the workplace. Tina as a as a as a diversified uh, workforce, the benefits are kanjani. Masu skulu mangi benefits, skulu mangani. Ngogutsi imu pige manje u umtelelo muhle. Tine suto la yo as a as a business or as a as a, a diversified workforce. Ogo kala nje. It diversity in the workplace is to improve any motivation. Our employees will be motivated because we are a diversified workforce a businesses with a diverse workforce are more likely to have a good public image see we will have a good public image and also attract more customers so attract our ama customers amaning because sinjani we are a diversified workforce sinama employees are coming from different groups from different cultural backgrounds therefore nazi ama ama customers way to azobanjan azobamaning we attract more customers Almost attract more customers. Segmele kwande ini i profitability in the workplace. Siya increase the profitability yetu. Uma increase the profitability yetu. We are more likely to achieve our goal as a business. Employees from different backgrounds can bring different perspective to the business. Sizo bane nje lanji e zincha. Zo gwenza ini e zinto because anabani be yutu bakamuga from different backgrounds ama employees way to uh, a diversified workforce stimulates debate on new and improved ways of getting things done sibe na liliana futel kulma ngoguti um employees uh, represent various groups and are therefore better able to recognize customer needs and satisfy customers Jonga manje city nik city ama employees way to they're from different groups. School mile masiti masput shilu la pena masakaza u diversity u kuti simkaza ngoktini u diversity city. School mile ngabantu abanjani abakamuka from different ngaba u cultural backgrounds u kuti laba laba they they have a different culture zanget si basa kashi legiti na ba yini ba ngama employees way to Ogusukut bazo guaz futu identify is it ding uzani zama customers way to eza shuka shukeni. Nga lo kukuse gushugutini tina sizo guazu gwenze jani uksetisify is it ding uzama customers way to accordingly. E lo kufutu sese gas benefit tina eze what? Eze business. Sese guazu guti si 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 tole ini i profit enjani. A, 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 a improve we are going to be able to 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 improve our profitability because siakwazu good send the journey to provide what is um what is demanded by um, our customers way to look to provide accordingly to provide local okfuna ini our customers way to and uh diversified workforce can give a business competitive advantage as they can render better services well we will also be able to to gain a competitive advantage over our competitors because tina siagwazu which is identify eating is actually as a gain from different customers and then we cater for those uh customers but provide the local other thing i don't know okay so say it was good to improve in the profits the business yet but improve any profits if you know what's going on now Sia kwa zukricha ini ikuul, yani ye business letu. Ok, si ifana la poke anda u diversity. Bafondi, seso 
muvela to environmental issues manje njengoba sesiqedile ngo diversity sekumele singiqale ubani u environmental issues lapha yana ku environmental issues uh, sishilo masaqala with our lesson sister anpeka ama concept sasho sathi masesikhuluma ngo environmental issues these issues they relate to preserving a clean or a safe environment so ikuphike umfundi imaphi ama outcomes ekumele siwakhave under environmental issues okokuqala nje umfundi akakwazi phela ukudiskasa ukuoutliner or explain ama roles of health and safety representatives in protecting the workplace environment secondly grade 12 learner you must be able to explain the responsibility of workers in promoting human health and safety in the workplace you must also be able to explain the responsibilities of employers in promoting human health and safety in the workplace lastly you must be able to recommend or suggest strategies or ways in which businesses could protect the environment and promote human health in the workplace and ilesinethu iphela iphelela iphela kanjalo and si qeda lapha yana kubani si qeda kuma environmental issues siyanibonga ngokufunda nathi Siyanimema ukuthi nintamele futhi nakusasa ningazithola lezifundo ekhasini lethu lika Facebook Elite Go Digital SA Foundation na ku YouTube Elite Go Digital SA Foundation ziyatholakala nakukhozi FM njalo ngolwesine kusukela ngo9 kuya ku10 ebusuku ningazithola nango WhatsApp kwinamba yethu 80 068 151 